Hello my lovelies, in this video we're going to be going over my predictions for AQA Biology Paper 1 for GCSE for 2023. Now I've done these predictions for chemistry, biology, physics, math and what I would like you to do at the end of this video is jump down to the description and bookmark the playlist where they're all in. I've still them all by date so they're really, really easy to find but when you come to do your maths revision or your physics revision go to that playlist and then look at my predictions for those. The other thing you'll find in that playlist are the walkthroughs of all of the predictive papers that we've done. So biology, chemistry, physics and maths. The predictive papers that I've written, we've done video walkthroughs. So these are the clues the examiners might come up with. Um, these are the things you need to look out for in the paper. These are the sort of things that you should be focusing on in your answer. They're all in the same playlist which is linked. Now I'm going to talk about combined science and then I'm going to talk about separate science. So if you're doing separate science, you can jump to that bit. But please remember, these are just my predictions. You can go and look at the card, I can't remember which side it's on, where I talk to you about how good my predictions are, what people have thought of them in the past. But please revise everything. So, starting off my predictions for combined science. There are a few things that I would like you to focus on, but please remember you should revise everything. Now, things like cells comes up every single year. Nearly every single year, there is a label this cell, bacterial, plant, or animal. And it's kind of like, describe the differences, describe the functions of the organelles. Every single year, this comes up. So please go and revise that. And then I would like you to look at gas exchange. Now there are lots of different ways the examiners can bring questions into this. This could easily be a six mark question, or it could be linked to something like active transport, or it could be linked to the practical that I fancy for this year, which is osmosis. Now don't forget in the practicals, they can change their variables in lots and lots of different ways. A really, really massive, massive big topic that hasn't come up for the past couple of years is the heart and circulation. So this is such a big topic and it's such an interesting topic. It's a brilliant, brilliant place to pick up marks and it hasn't come up for a couple of years. So this is one of the things that I would really spend time revising. Non-communicable diseases is another topic that they could easily ask a six mark question about and they could even relate it to the heart and circulation or they could relate it to something like exercise. So response to exercise is another topic that I would like you to look at. At. They could do this in a practical, they could do this in a graph, they could have some data for you to interpret. And don't forget, they're going to be putting loads of things in context because that's what they do in biology. So it could be any of this topic or any of the topics that we've covered where they say, this is a graph of something you've never seen before, now interpret it. And then here are some questions about the science that you've learned in class. This is, we can 100% say that is going to happen in the exam because it happens every single year. Now the last topic I'd like you to focus on for combined science is respiration and metabolism. This is um, again a really, really large topic. It could even be linked into photosynthesis or it could be linked into a practical. So you definitely need to know your equations, you definitely need to know factors relating to it and metabolism is actually such a huge topic because metabolism is the the processes that go on inside a cell and well that's loads of things though so that could be like anything to do with enzymes that could be anything to do with respiration that could be anything to do with proteins or carbohydrates there's loads and loads of things that they could have in there now if you're doing combined science what i suggest you do now is either go over to my website and download the predictive paper or watch the video walkthrough which is linked in the description so this part is for students doing separate science only so if you're doing separate science the practical that i really fancy for this year is the bacterial resistance aseptic techniques one this hasn't come up for a while and there are lots and lots of things they could link into this so they can link a lot of maths about bacterial cell replication into this they can link a lot of safety things into this. There's lots of ways they can relate this to, to a real world. There's lots of ways they can put this in context. This is a really nice practical. But obviously, you should learn all of the practicals equally well before going into the exams. Gas exchange is another great topic for you to revise. And when we're looking at gas exchange, we want to be thinking about it in terms of cells. So cells is a topic that comes up every single year. Um, like 
5% is going to be a question that says label a cell, whether it's a bacterial cell, whether it's an animal cell, or whether it's a plant cell. This is generally how they start off the paper, with a nice easy question to get you going. But also, the another type of cell that I would like you to link into that is stem cells. This is a big topic they haven't asked a question about for a while, and there are lots of really nice things they could ask about this. It could easily be a six mark question, or we could easily have a question where it's kind of like a suggest question, or can you justify a question, like an ethics question. A big, big topic that hasn't come up for a couple of years is the heart and circulation. So I would like you to have a big focus on that. Now there are loads of different ways they could link this in. They could link it as a non-communicable disease, or they could link it as like a response to exercise question. But as a key to learning the structure of the heart, learning the veins, learning the and the arteries, obviously, learning the blood and learning the flow of the, the, the blood through the body is an absolute key thing for this year. As well as non-communicable diseases, I would also like you to look at bacterial diseases and the development of drugs. So developing drugs in the future, where they might find new drugs in the future, um, and the history of where the, the drugs that you need to learn the examples of, so like aspirin, a foxglove, where they've all come from as well. And then we need to be looking at response to exercise, respiration and metabolism. Now, metabolism sounds like such a simple one word thing, oh, that'd be easy, except what metabolism is, is all the processes that go on inside the cells. And the set point for this is tiny, but when you actually think about it, that is loads and loads and loads of things. So metabolism, all the chemical processes that are going inside the cells, that can cover respiration, that can cover enzymes, that can cover protein, that can cover DNA. But it's kind of like a key thing that stood out, it's really, really missing last year in the exam, because there are so many different ways they could ask this, there are so many different questions that metabolism could fit into. The fact that it didn't fit into anything last year really strikes me as a little bit odd. So if you're doing separate science, and um, if you're doing foundation, then I would also suggest you go and look at photosynthesis as well, but I know there aren't very many of you. And um, if you're doing separate science and you want the walkthrough of the paper, the predictive paper that we've done, then that is in the description of the video down below. Or if you want a um, download copy, then you can go to my website and get that now. Good luck guys, remember I am here with you every single step of the way. Uh, we can do this, we can do this together. Um, I've got predictions for science and maths papers that you're doing. Um, I'm going to be here with you the whole time. You and me, we can do this together. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like to explain scratches. Thank you.